Hello YouTubers. This video is a small lesson how to connect to the PLC using VPN. There are numerous ways of achieving that. I will show you couple of them. This demo is based on the Siemens PLC, but it applies to any other PLC as well. Let's say you are at home, and at that time something happened on the plant. Your co-worker asks you to connect to the PLC to check what the problem is. You are about to drive to the plant because you cannot establish connection as your PC and the PLC are on the different subnets. Wait, there is a solution, called VPN. Here is what you can do. In this example I am using TeamViewer VPN, as I have a license for it, but you can use any free VPN. Method number 1. Open the Windows Commander with elevated rights on the plant PC. Type in the following commands. To make a connection to the first PC type the following command. Listen port and the connect port are the port that you are going to connect to and listen to. For Siemens PLC's port number is 102. You need to check your PLC to find out what port it uses. Connection address is the IP address of the PLC that you want to connect to. Type command, dump, to see the result. Make a VPN connection to the PC. You can check the VPN connection to the plant PC by clicking this button. A Windows commander with a ping to the configured IP will show up. Copy the IP address of the partner and paste it into the hardware configuration of the PLC. Let's try to connect to the PLC. Connection is successful. I can access the PLC that is on the plant from my home. To connect to another PLC you need to reset current configuration and make a new one. To reset the configuration you need to type command, reset. After that type command, dump, to be sure, that reset was successful. After the successful reset you can make another configuration. Method number 2. 
To make a connection to the remote PLC you can add the route into your route table. To do so you need to find out, is your network card is able to carry out the routing. And make sure that routing is enabled. Open the Windows Commander and type this command, ipconfig slash all. Here you can see if you are able to create routes and is your routing is enabled. You can enable IP routing via registry if your IP routing is disabled. Start a registry editor. Navigate to this path. You should see this key. The value of it should be 1. If you miss it, then create a double word and assign value 1 to it. Start a VPN connection to the plant PC and write down the IP address of the partner. Start Windows Commander with elevated rights and write the following command. If you want to create IP route to another PLC, then you need to delete the first IP route. You can do that by typing this command. After successful deletion you can add a new IP route. If you want to be able to access all the PLCs then type this command. Important note. You must check use router and write in the IP of the plant PC in the hardware configuration of every PLC. This is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video.